Hi, I hope you're having a good day. This is your video on evaluating expressions. Your I can statement is I can use order of operations to evaluate expressions. Vocabulary you need to know is very obviously the word evaluate because if you don't know what that means, it's going to be very difficult to follow directions. Evaluate is replacing each variable with the given number and then simplifying the expression using order of operations, which is also called PEMDAS. Um, the way I like to remember it is the fr phrase, plug it in, plug it in, like the Glade plugins. How do I evaluate algebraic expressions is your first question. Um, here is problem number one. 6x plus 2x minus 5 when x is 2. And obviously you're being asked to evaluate here. Um, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to rewrite the problem, except anywhere you have an x, I like to kind of put a box to start, just so you get the idea of what's happening here. And then you're going to plug in the number. So in this case, I'm plugging in a 2. In each spot, I see the x. Now, you have to know what operation is happening to know what to do. So between here, 6x, that's 6 times x. There's an invisible dot there. So when I rewrite my problem, I'm also going to include that this is multiplication. It does not turn into 62 and 22. It's 6 times 2 plus 2 times 2. Now I have to follow order of operations, um, which is PEMDAS. So here we go. Multiplying from left to right comes first. So 12 plus 2 times 2 minus 5. You're making a PEMDAS pizza. 12 plus 4 minus 5. And then adding and subtracting from left to right. So 12 plus 4 is 16 minus 5, which gives you an answer of 11. So PEMDAS pizzas are not going away. You're going to keep using them. Here's your next one. 6a plus 2b minus 5 when a equals 2 and b equals 4. You're going to plug it in again. This time, though, you have to plug in a number for your a and your b. They're different values. So here we go. Um, my A is 2, so in the A spot, I'm going to put it 2. Remember, that's multiplication. And in the B spot, I'm going to put the number 4. Again, multiplication. Now I follow order of operations. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 times 4 minus 5. 2 times 4 is 8. Drop down everything I haven't used. And then 12 plus 8 is 20, minus 5 would be 15 for a final answer. Now, they do get a little bit trickier. Here's example number 1. Notice the x is also in the exponent this time. So I'm going to show you how to do those. Again, rewrite the problem. Include that little box, because that's where you're going to plug it in, anywhere you see an x. And then x is 4, so I'm going to put a 4 in both of those x spots. And then remember that that's multiplication happening. Now, I'm going to follow order of operations as well, again. So inside parentheses is what we do first. And we do multiplication and dividing inside parentheses. So this is going to turn into 12 minus 5 in parentheses. And then I'm going to rewrite this exponent. 4 minus 1 is 3, so I'm just going to write that there. It's not going to change the problem. And then I'm still inside parentheses. 12 minus 5 is 7. And then 7 is in the parentheses to the third power. That means 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So 49 times 7. If you don't know that, you're going to have to do the math on it. Your answer is going to end up being 343. All right, next tricky one. This one's just a little bit longer and has multiple exponents, but that's okay. 
Um, x squared plus 2x plus 16 divided by y squared when x is 3 and y is 4. Again, rewrite the problem. Include your little boxes. Just helps keep things in the right spots. And then plug in, let's see, x is 3, so anywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a 3. And anywhere I see a y, I'm putting, oop, negative 4, sorry, I missed the spoke. So negative 4 goes in the box there. And I'm going to put this in parentheses. It's better to be safe than sorry. All right, so here we go. Following order of operations, I do parentheses first, but there's not anything in parentheses, they're just numbers. So I'm going to do exponents next from left to right. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then rewrite everything. And then I have another exponent over here. So I'm going to take negative 4 squared. So negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And rewrite everything I haven't used yet. Now I could do multiplying and dividing from left to right. 2 times 3 is 6. 9 plus 6 plus 16 divided by 16. And division happens to come next. 16 divided by 16 is 1. And write down everything I haven't used yet. And then adding and subtracting from left to right, 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1. That will give me 16 for a final answer. Your turn. Two problems here for you. The first one's a little bit trickier than the second one. Um, but 4x squared minus 5 in parentheses to the x power and then minus 16 when x is 3. And 5a plus 6c minus 4 minus 1 when a is 4 and c is negative 2. Go ahead and solve these and then turn the video back on when you're done. All right, the your turn number one we're actually going to go over in class, but your turn number two you should have gotten a answer of three. So please mark that on your paper if you got it right or you got it wrong. Um, and then if you have questions, bring those to class. It is the end of your video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.